do you think that Christianity, historically at least, is a violent religion? I think it can like turn people against each other. I was just thinking like the violence in the Bible, you know, like the crucifixion. Like there's a bunch of violent stories in the Bible. I mean, like I can see how that would be true. You look in the Old Testament and there's like a lot of violence and a lot of war. There are many who would contend that nothing good has come out of Christianity. Only wars and bad things like witch burning and the crusades. What would you say to those people? Biblical Christianity is defined by one person, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, when he talked about the behavior of his followers, he said, blessed are the peacemakers. He talked about turning the other cheek. The New Testament talks about being peacemakers, about not seeking vengeance about being those who are known for gentleness, not for wrath or for vengeance. It would be unfair to Christianity to judge it on the basis of the actions of some who falsely claim to be Christians or falsely claim to be acting in the name of Christ when their actions clearly undermine and clearly go contrary to the actual teaching of Christ himself. Can you think of any historical examples of Christians being violent or starting wars? Maybe just the church with the Crusades, the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, I've heard that same objection. In fact, I had a friend when I was in high school who he had a number of reasons why he said he was an atheist. And one of his big reasons was the Crusades. And I always found that a little bit odd because it didn't follow logically for me for someone to say, well, there were some medieval wars in European history that have caused me not to believe in the existence of God. And yet that sometimes is how people operate. They don't really understand the Crusades. They're not thinking logically about the connection that they're making, but they've heard someone somewhere say, oh, the Crusades. And so they throw it up as if it's some sort of magic uh, objection that's going to immediately silence the person who's trying to share the gospel. The Crusades were a series of generally numbered at seven religious wars or religious campaigns that were fought in medieval Europe starting in 1095 all the way to about 1290. They were the result of governments that had claimed to be Christian and really are the fruit of what can happen when Christianity and politics get so entwined that the political side of things, the military side of things takes over and the actual Christian elements get left behind. So these really are non-Christian actions that are taking place under the banner of Christianity, but not true Christianity, not biblical Christianity, rather some sort of manufactured reality that represents the product of medieval European governmental society. How well do you think Christians treat people who don't believe what they believe? Not very well, yeah. in my opinion. Especially in the people that I knew that were in the LGBTQ plus community that would say, they're always judging me, like I'm always doing something wrong, like I would not want to be a part of that community because clearly like their whole thing is that they love other people and I don't feel loved by them at all. What would you say to a person whose main objection to Christianity is that they personally have been hurt by somebody who claims to be a Christian? And I think they could have been hurt by one of three categories of people. There are true Christians who do things that are wrong. There are true Christians who are doing the right thing and sometimes in doing the right thing, they actually offend people who are offended by biblical truth. And then there are people who are not true Christians but claim to be, and they act in a way that demonstrates that they're not really truly believers. But at the end of the day, whether it's group one, group two, or group three, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point them past all three groups to the one person that really matters, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Christianity is not about Christians. Christianity is about Christ.